I don't want to think that we are just at the end of, of a season, but almost like a new season starts. It's a season of five games and we need to be competed at our best in those five games. I want the team to be alive. Everybody thinks that we are not, we are out, that is dead, but we are not. Look, the most important thing is that the players believe. They have to step on that field today against NYCFC, believing not only that they can make the playoffs, but that they can get the result today. You've lost your last two games, you haven't scored a lot of goals, but you're back with your fans. They're making noise already, so I think, you know, it, it, start early, a nice high tempo early, and maybe get an early goal, and I think the omens will look good. And the ball is kicked into play at Bank of America Stadium. Charlotte FC welcome New York City FC to the Queen City in a bid to both do the season double over the MLS Cup champions and keep playoff hopes alive. Now Shudarski curling one into the header. It's corner pocket. It's Danny Rios. A glancing header from the Mexican. And once again, Charlotte FC score inside the first 15. And I think that the boys today show the unity, which is uh, always a great sign to have. But first and foremost, you need to have men that they fight against uh, difficult circumstances, and they did that today. And Charlotte FC have done it. The crown do the double over NYCFC, the defending MLS Cup champions, and edge closer to their playoff goal. Danny Rios with a game winner, five minutes in. Christian Latanzo said all week that he had faith in his players, that they had what it took to finish off this season strong. And so far, the first hurdle is overcome. A big win once again against the defending champions. And so now we have four games left, and we want to go and give uh, to be a difficult team to play against every game. It is a grudge match at Soldier Field between the Chicago Fire and Charlotte FC. And after beating NYC FC last week, hopes rekindled that the playoffs are a possibility. I think you look at what happened last game. Went down to 10 men. Can you take that toughness from the last 35 minutes in that game and bring it into this game on the road? The ball is kicked into play at Soldier Field. For the first touch, there's the overlap from Sekulic. The shot that Daisy Cutter did pack a lot of power, but here's the rebound, and it's in. And three minutes in, the Fire have the lead at home. But Camino stayed on his line. Here's a chance for Chicago cutting inside. Duran, Chris Mueller wants it. Duran takes it himself, and he hits the back of the net. And Chicago now a two up on Charlotte. Half an hour into this one. Charlotte FC's playoff hopes hanging by a thread. How many times have we said that this season, and yet somehow they find a way to bounce back? Order taken. There's the header from Malaga. Trichowski! Game on. Game on. At Soldier Field. Goes route one. Looking for Gaines, who will catch up with the ball. Gaines, first time cross. There's the shot! Get that ball, get back to the center circle, it's game one. That one is going to fall to Reyna, puts it to sleep. Reyna clips it. McKenzie Gaines, off the woodwork, Shredansky! Still Shredansky! No! It's in! It's in! It hits the bullseye! Charlotte FC has snatched the win from the jaws of defeat! and you still get another three in the second half. Those guys will remember that win for a long, long time. Maybe their whole career, that was a big win. A week away from decision day, and Charlotte FC remain in the playoff hunt. Nine points still up for grabs, three must wins. The first one tonight, Charlotte trying to stay in the playoff hunt. Philadelphia after their second shield in three seasons. 
And the ball is kicked into play at Bank of America Stadium. Huge beyond a little bit too wide. The cross! Oh! And from close proximity, Daniel Rios has put Sean on the head! Rios looking for a second! Danny Rios has doubled Charlotte's lead! This crowd is loving it! Rios to step ball, and he rifles it in! for Gaines. Gaines across the six, and it's a tap in, and it's number four for Danny Rios. Can you believe it? And this game is whistled dead. A monumental win, a dominant display from start to finish. Four goals scored by Danny Rios. The playoff dream alive and kicking. But Christian Latantio said before the Second game in against NYCFC, it was going to be a five-game mini-season. Yeah. If they won all five, they had a shot at the playoffs. Charlotte and Columbus played 16 minutes of soccer before their match was officially postponed on July 30th. The fact that it kicked off means that the match day squads were frozen. That presents a number of challenges for Christian Latanzio. One of which being that some of the players who have been instrumental to this recent playoff push are either on the bench or absent altogether. It is eighth versus ninth with Charlotte four points adrift of Columbus in what is the last home match of the Crown's inaugural season. Charlotte FC and the Columbus crew kickstart their jostle for the remaining playoff berths. And now Kalina caught off his line. Oh, what a goal from Lucas Salarion. Back heel into Etienne. Cross. Oh, oh yes. slip from Mora. There's the shot. And it's two for Columbus. A steep hill to climb. But they were down two goals in Chicago. And they managed to orchestrate an historic comeback then. And they repeat the feat. Here they go into the attack. Grand Bronico. Rain up towards the back pass and Danny Rios! And Danny Rios has pulled one back! We've got a great game in Charlotte, North Carolina. Lindsay, Yuzviak is onside to the byline. The comeback! The shot from Rios! The crowd wants a handball! Rios continues to play! There's a There it goes. A look at the watch, and that is it. The fairy tale is over for Charlotte FC. But these boys with the crowns on their chests, they left it all out on the field. Not going to the playoffs, but you can hold your head high. What great stuff we saw today. We wanted to play, to have this mini season in mind, the last five games. And so far, we have three wins and a draw. And we want to carry on our momentum. You can see that there is disappointment, there is anger, there is sadness because they felt that they could have gone all the way. But at the same time, I want them to feel this way and to carry this feeling into the next game and into the next season. And the game is whistled dead. And the curtain comes down on Charlotte FC's inaugural campaign. This is Charlotte's team. They're going to come back next year, they're going to add some pieces. A lot of excitement about next season. It is not easy to make it to the playoffs in an inaugural campaign in an expansion season. Charlotte, we're ever so close to accomplishing that feat. Unbelievable inaugural season for Charlotte FC.